Oh gosh, the sun is coming up. I hope you don't have work today, Morgan. You must be dead tired. Nah, don't worry about it. I get Sundays off. I appreciate you guys talking with me. No problem. Now Mandy and Cliff can learn from each other. It's honestly a great way for them to learn how to control it. Right. I'm glad to have met people in the same boat as us. Is Mandy pretty good at controlling it? Yeah, I guess. Mandy is a bit odd. She speaks strangely even though she seems to control herself perfectly. Really? I haven't spoken to her yet. The kids didn't seem suspicious of her. Maybe kids just don't notice those things. Surprisingly, Clifford is pretty normal despite being special. Come on, you need to tell me your secret. <laughs> what a relief. And here I thought he was obvious to spot. Not at all. You're doing a great job raising him. Would you mind me stopping by another day to talk to you about how you raise him? I could spread those tips to the other families, having trouble with their child. Sure, I don't mind. How many adults do you have with spirits? Well, that's the thing. We'd probably have more if they didn't run off all the time. They usually run away if they last that long. It's like they get harder to control the older they get. Seriously? Do you not have a single adult among your group? But none of them have been as controlled as your little boy. There's a lot of hope for him. How long do they normally last when they run off? Who can say? Maybe a few weeks? Months? Sometimes they don't even come back at all. I can't believe it. None of them survive? We're all here to change that. As of right now, the odds are against us, but I believe we can make a difference. Dad? Oh, Cliff. Sorry, did we wake you? Nope. Ray's snoring did, though. Why are you sitting on the floor? It's been a long night. Hey, Cliff, do you remember Avery? We're going to be hiring him to tutor you, along with Mandy. What? I'll be able to learn with Mandy? That's right. Mandy will be really excited when she hears the news. Oh. Well, I better get going. Is 9 a.m. okay for me to pick Cliff up tomorrow? Yeah, that should be fine. Thanks. My pleasure. See you tomorrow, Clifford. Bye! Hello, Morgan. It'll be nice to have a friend I don't have to lie to all the time. <laughs> Man, same here. Well, I better go update the family before they start panicking. See ya. Oh, tell Mercy hi for me. Will do. Bye, George! Cliff, why don't we grab you some cereal? Your mom may not be up for a few hours. Sure! Ray, why did you draw me with such long legs? Because you're so tall. Oh, okay, now it's my turn. I don't look like that. <laughs> Shush. I never said I was good at this. I can't draw to save my life. Cliff, why aren't you joining them? I don't want to spoil it. Mom looks so happy. Cliff, you couldn't spoil it. Your mother loves you very much. Please don't lie to me, Dad. Uh, I wouldn't lie to you. I've heard you and Mom talking at night. Mom is scared of me. That's not true! Don't you dare think that. Cliff, she loves you. She's just worried about you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was born this way. I didn't mean to be. 
Come on, let's just go to the pond. We haven't gone fishing together in such a long time. Huh? It'll be fun. Just you and me. What do you think? But what about Ray? I'm asking you. Only you. Let's go fishing. Uh, really? Are you sure? We better hurry. We don't want to be out after dark. Thank you. I'll grab the fishing rods. I can't believe you already caught one. It's officially a competition. <laughs> You're on! Do you think Mom will be happy to have all these fish? Of course, she loves fish. You know your mom loves you, right? I know. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. You don't need to apologize. It's healthy to express your emotions like that. If you don't, they'll get all pinned up inside. Then one day, they'll come out all at once, making you unable to control them. Is that because of my spirit? Of course not. We all have lots of emotions. We just hide them. I'm glad you express yourself. Uh, you cry too? Cliff, you thought I couldn't cry? Well, I've never seen you cry. I thought it was another one of my problems. Problems? Cliff, the only flaw you have is thinking you're lesser than the rest of us. You're an incredible loving boy. I wish I wasn't afraid to cry like you. Really? Thanks, Dad. I love you. I love you too, hon. Dad? Yeah? Why am I getting a tutor to teach me now? Well, your mother and I both agreed that you were too smart for us to teach anymore. So we thought he'd better help you flourish. Mom said that? That you're smart? Yeah. She was wanting to hold you back to protect you. Oh. I didn't think of it like that. Cliff, I told Avery and George about your spirit. Well, why would you do that? George's little girl has a spirit just like you. Avery wants to tutor both of you at the same time. Mandy? Somehow I knew she did. But I wasn't sure if I was right. Really? Well, now you can be honest with George and his family. Just like you are with us. Really? I can talk about my issue with them? Yep. And Avery as well. You'll have a lot more friends now. Wow. Thanks, Dad. Mandy is just like me. I have so much I want to ask her. Well, you'll see her tomorrow at the lesson. You can talk to her after that. Yeah, I'll do that. Now let's get some more fish for Mom. I'm still winning. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> <laughs>